Hi guys, it's Graham Johnson again. I'm going to show you how to create another cool molecular object with uh, EPMV running in 3D Studio Max on this occasion. And let's get a little background here. The object we're going to create is called Clathrin, and we're going to do it taking advantage of the um, of the biological unit option which we used earlier to in other tutorials to create a virus efficiently so these are symmetrical objects and the idea is to um, build one copy of the mesh geometry or whatever type of geometry you're using and then to use the instancing system built into 3d studio max behind the scenes to create an efficient uh, copy. So in the case of a typical virus, you're taking one copy and repeating it 60 times at specific orientations and creating these spherical structures. And now we're going to create an object called Clathrin. Uh, so I've gone to pdb.org and I've just clicked in the search box. Um, so in this case you might be working with a content expert who says we need you to create an animation of this Clathrin structure. You can begin by uh, doing a search like this at pdb.org and the best thing you can do is start with, if it's available, a description under the molecule of the month. We got very lucky. There happens to be one for Clathrin. I actually co-authored this with David Goodsell back in 2007, which is why it's one of my favorite structures. But what we have here is a, a very large complex um, object, protein object, and these uh, little spider arms here, this is called a triskelion with its three arms, tri, sticking out, spontaneously forms on the inside of lipid bilayer membranes inside of your cells by binding to, to to receptor proteins that are, are collecting objects from outside of the cell and it forms these cages. There are some cool animations online you can see to get a good description of that and it forms vesicles that pull little packets of, of stuff from outside of the cell uh, into a spherical vesicle inside of the cell so that your cell can process it um, either digesting the contents or, or uh, distributing it to other part of the cell, etc. So that's Clathrin, and we do the search and we find out that one of the best structures for it is a four-digit code called 3IYV. So we're going to build that into our scene. So I'm back in EPMV. Sorry things are moving pretty sluggish here. I am working on a virtual machine from a Macintosh on the Amazon cloud. I don't have a PC myself. First thing we need to do, change options, turn off center molecule. Um, by default, EPMV, when you build a molecule, it centers it at the origin of your scene, so it's really easy to work with. But uh, in this case, we need to use the original crystallographic coordinates because, again, we're going to be um, using some other information that's inside of the file that we're downloading behind the scenes here for 3IYV for Clathrin. It's got information about how to create the, the multiple instances to generate that sort of uh, squashed football structure, squashed soccer ball structure that looks kind of like an American football. So, all right, we've turned off options, center molecule, we type in 3IYV and just click fetch to download those coordinates. And I like to just do something like uh, I just clicked to prompt my GUI, okay, I see that it's changed, so it took about four or five seconds for 3IYV to download. And this is a massive structure, so we don't see anything in our scene yet because we haven't turned anything on. I'm going to turn on coarse molecular surface, and that takes a few seconds to build before you see that checkbox turn on. Okay, it took about four or five seconds there. And this is a special molecule. It's, it's so large that they were only able to 
um, resolve just the most basic coordinates and that's actually pretty handy for us because if we had all these atoms to deal with it would really bog down the system. Um, so because they have only the backbone atoms um, this is a relatively sparsely populated atomic structure and the default settings for coarse molecular surface wouldn't show up so we need to pump those up uh, so to build a bigger grid for this mesh so change 10 and negative 0.3 to negative 0, uh, 0 0.04 and just click return and again just prompt your, your thing so, okay that means it's already built so if I just come and I zoom out again this is a massive structure we see that it's constructed itself and it's enormous and let's bump up um, the grid size so this will make a finer mesh if we knock this up to 60 for example and then let's zoom in on it that's alt w and let's just turn on Uh, we're going to color this by chain. Great. And now let's let's build the the biological unit. So we see that we have three IYV. We can copy that and go to Edit Biological Unit. Three IYV. I recommend pasting to make sure you get it exactly correct because it's based on the name and click OK and voila you get instant copies of, of it. So now you've got a big clathrin cage just like the one in our uh, written description uh, at the molecule at David Goodsell's Molecule of the Month. Um, Again, you can read about what that is and use that to inspire a really cool animation with this. Light it up, apply some physics to it, throw a bunch of them together in a scene, um, and then look online for some animations about how the, the triskelia assemble uh, themselves to, to pull that skin in from the surface on the underside inside of the cell. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.